Hey all, back with a bit of a shorter war video here today against GT40, and we are using both Killmonger and Kate. I'm honestly kind of surprised this war video is even going to be this long because it's often pretty difficult to get um, a fair number of fights with Killmonger and Winter Soldier, but these paths did happen to line up, and so I do actually have the ability to take path fights and then the boss. We'll get to that. That's why Killmonger is here. Um, pretty simple fight here at the start. We wait until these buffs are on us. And I was kind of going for intercepts. I, I don't know. I I think I was just kind of not quite in the groove yet. I was having a little bit of trouble um, getting those parries up, really. Because obviously you're supposed to wait at the start of the fight for the placebo buff to tick, and then you start parrying. I don't know. I wasn't feeling it, but then I found it. I had clarity up. I got the true strike. It's a very simple fight. I was just a little bit flustered at the beginning, I suppose. We move on to Atuma here, which is going to be a very simple Kate fight. If this goes on too long, it can start to be a problem because Sadist, uh, the buff on this node, does cause Atuma to gain extra attack for his own personal concussions on him, and that could get out of control, except that Kate has enough cold snap damage to get him down. So we are not going to use the Riposte, even though he can't um, get around that passive stun on it, simply because he will gain power when we evade, and that's not something that I'm really interested in. Now, note, we could use it while he's above a bar of power and doesn't have true accuracy up, but as you can see with this fight, we just don't need to. We tap his block... We took a little bit of Thorn's damage. We just keep the cold snaps up enough to get him down, and we move on. Next up, we have this middle path here. We are going to be taking Kate with Destroyer for the dozenth time. I forget when the last time I put it on YouTube was, but this fight certainly didn't slow down while I was on vacation. We're starting with Spider-Punk here. Kate absolutely can do this. However, the riposte itself can be auto-blocked, it can be evaded. I just prefer using Tactic here, as long as you are using someone that can get it down quickly enough for him not to go unstoppable. And Killmonger, with his counterpunch, is very good at um, intercepting, keeping the Fury up, and generally being very efficient here. I am going to use the special one again here, even though I know it's going to put a rupture on me simply because it makes it so easy and safe to intercept. We bait out another special too. Get the true strike again here. I don't worry about the intercept. Like, I would have taken it if he had charged in. I knew he was probably just going to throw a special one. It doesn't matter. Little enough health that we can just combo it out through the protection. So let's talk a bit about this destroyer fight. Very, very common placement, very, very common answer these last couple seasons. If you haven't seen it before, the idea here is basically to trigger Mystic Dispersion as little as possible, to keep your arrows paused all the time, and to use repost and passive damage. So, first things first, you don't dex at the start of the fight because you can trigger the buff and that can get you off on the wrong foot. I always bait that heavy and then use the animation to back up, bide myself time, and then use the repost to get the intercept. Once I throw the special one with the fury from the intercept, then I continue to bait heavies. Ideally, Destroyer doesn't even throw a special one. We just keep um, what do you call it? Punishing those heavies, keeping those, um, jeez, cold snaps up. I'm starting to get tired. Ideally, you would repost that dash at the end there. That's what I should have done, but thankfully we had played everything else well enough that there wasn't a whole lot left, and it actually did end up being worth it for me to just obey my instincts <laughs> and go for the actual intercept. I got hit for it, but that's fine. We're not using Kate again. It took the protection off, and that let the cold snaps finish him. 
So here the video breaks because I go practice intercepting Quicksilver a few times. <laughs> it's a little bit annoying with his multi-hit uh, mediums, but there is a way to do it, and that's exactly what you're going to see here. I throw on another power start so that I have the counter punches at the start. Pity Black Panther OG, uh, sorry, Black Panther Civil War isn't better, or we could start with counter punches, but I don't know, maybe someday. Anyway, there we use um, the counter punch to get the intercept, same as we did against Spider Punk, except here it allows us to get the true strike which is crucial so that we don't have to worry about getting parried before we get clarity up and generally dealing with Quicksilver's nonsense. I throw the special two here, that's pretty safe, and that means that we can block the full special two. It is going to take some time. Clarity did fall off, but that's fine. The special two is easy to punish and get that true strike back up. We are cooking with gas again. I will say I made a small strategic error in not pushing him directly to the special two. I think I was expecting him to throw the special one, and I was trying to make sure I didn't get special intercepted, so not the worst mistake. It's better to be cautious than to lose, but I definitely could have kept the tempo up a little bit better there. We're hitting here. We are at 18 bleeds, which is why I didn't throw the special two again. We could have built up further, and we could build further than the 19 we have here but I don't think it's strictly necessary. The one other thing that I probably could have done here that would have been a little bit better, I could have parried before this special three to remove that with Blash, take the inequity off myself and avoid the 6% weakness. The bleeds would have been very slightly stronger. It's not a huge deal. We don't need to finish with the special three. We are maintaining very good control of this fight. We're consistently pushing him to the special two we have more than enough health to block it and just not worry about the full decks, which allows us to then cleanly punish it, get the true strike back up, and not worry about downtime on clarity against somebody with very long, complex, basic movesets. So Quicksilver is definitely a good boss, especially with the bands they had. Both Venom and Mole were off the table. I believe Null was as well. But Killmonger is very good for it. He can handle it in general, but especially if you get Winter Soldier so that you have that reliable access to True Strike at the start of the fight, you're good to go. So yeah, definitely would do that again. Hadn't done it yet, but we had sent it in other battle groups, and it was really fun. Um, I love playing Killmonger. Those of you who've been fans of the channel for a while know that you're looking at a chibi version of him right now. It is always fun to be able to bring him to war. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, the next one is definitely a doozy. We'll talk about that then. But until that, uh, thank you so much for watching and take care.